In this video, we're going to build on colors and positioning of shapes. So what we want to do is we're going to build a target, which is a succession of circles that are getting smaller and smaller, but are still centered on the same point. We also are going to change the color layer for each one. So let's do primary and secondary colors. So we're going to do red to yellow to blue, purple, orange, and green. Now, let's go ahead and erase all of this and start with our first oval. So we're going to do G dot fill oval and we're going to start at the point zero, zero, and remember the width of the circle is like the diameter going across the circle and the height is the diameter going down the circle. And if you remember from the last video, if you were to draw a rectangle, those edges would touch within the rectangle. So our width, I want it to touch the edge of the drawing panel. So our width is going to be 700 and our height is also going to be 700. A semicolon comes after that and let's run it just to see what that looks like. So there we have it. Here's our circle and it's touching the edge of our drawing panel. But we want this circle to be red. So before we draw the oval, we're setting the color. And the color is going to be G dot set color. And it's a new color. And the RGB value for red was 25500. go ahead we have our red circle let's go ahead and draw our next circle remember we want our next circle still to be centered on this point but we want it to come in from the edge a little bit we have to change the color before we start the oval otherwise we're not going to see it our new color is going to be yellow and yellow is 255 comma 255 comma zero. And we're going to fill the oval. But in this case, instead of starting the point at zero, zero, we're going to start at the point 50, 50. And I want it to be 50 from the edges as well so that it's still centered on the same point. So I need this to be at 650, 650. But getting to that, we're just going to do Add 600 to the length and 600 to the width. And there we have it. Our circle is spaced in, and the distance between the outside of the red circle and the inside circle is 50 around the entire picture. So now we're going to do a blue oval. But as you can see, the colors are getting a little confusing. So I'm going to show you how to set the colors to a variable. So variables need to come before they are called. For example, panel, this variable comes before panel is actually used. The variable G comes before any of the G's are used. So the variable can be anything from a word to a letter and it represents many different things. For example, the drawing panel variable represents a drawing panel. The G the type of variable that is, is for graphics. For the color, you can see here we're naming a new color each time. So the type of variable that we're going to use is a color variable. And let's make it simple. Let's make the variable red. That's going to be assigned to this color right here. So go ahead and cut and copy new color 255 comma zero comma zero. We know that this is the color red. So now instead of typing new color 255 comma zero comma zero, when we set the color, we can just set this to be red. You can see that I define my variable before it's called, and now let's run the program. Did not change it at all. 
let's define the yellow color. So color yellow, we're naming it yellow just to make it simple, is going to be new color 2552550. So where we have the yellow color, we're going to write yellow now. Up here, I defined the variable before I called the variable or used the variable. Running this, it's going to give us the same result as before. We're going to have red and yellow. Now these variables I'm calling on are local variables because they're within this method. So you can only use these variables inside the method. So let's finish putting all our variables that we're going to need. We're going to need to need blue. And blue is going to be 0, 0, 2, 5, 5. So let's name this purple, orange, and green. Purple is going to be 1, 2, 7. 0, 255. Five. Orange is 255, And green is going to be 0, 255, 0. So now we have all of our color set. And it's underlining them in yellow to show that we have not used these variables at all. Let's draw our next oval. So we're going to set the color, color first, and we want this one to be blue. So just type in blue now, since we've already defined blue up here, and you can see the yellow line went away. Now we're going to fill in our oval, and we're going to do it another increment of 50 over. So this one's going to be 100, 100. And if you notice, we grew by 50 for the first two coordinates, and we decreased by 100 for the second two, or the width and height. So the width is going to become 500, and the height is now also going to be 500. End it with a semicolon, and run that. So now we have red, yellow, and blue. Let's move on to green. We're going to set the color to green, and again, we're growing by 50 in x1 and y1, so this becomes 150 now, and we're decreasing by 100 in the second one, so this now becomes 400. Run the code. Now we have red, yellow, blue, green. I believe in the beginning I said that we were going to make this purple. So instead of doing green next, all I have to do is swap out the green for purple. And it's that simple. Run the code again. And now I'm going to have purple there instead. So let's move on to orange now. Again, adding 50 to each of the first two coordinates. And decreasing by 100 on the second two. Running this program. Now we have one circle left. And that's going to be green. So again, adding 50 to the x and y for the first coordinate and decreasing by 100 for the second one. And there we have it. Red, yellow, blue, purple, orange, and green, concentric circles lined up, decreasing size as we get to the top layer.